What's going on guys, it's Sebastian from Triton Design, and I think this is Triton Tutorial number 3. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is how to make a nice looking button like this, and little mini buttons that you can put in the album section in YouTube. If you don't know what the album section is, all you do is go to settings, um, channel type, musician, save changes, and you should have some options when you click edit. The options will include album 1, album 2, and album 3. They have a cover art for them, and those are basically the buttons, but they're 40 by 40 pixels each. So keep that in mind whenever you're making buttons and you feel like having cover art. It makes your channel look a lot more professional, and I think it just looks good. So uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make buttons that you can include inside your album's cover art. So let's get started. First, you want to make a base circle about this size. And once you create this circle, all you're going to do is basically mess with um, the layer styles. Once you create your circle, what you need is bevel and emboss, chisel hard, depth is 348%, size 10, soften 10, and all of this stays the same. And it'll basically look like, look like that in the preview. Nothing much done to it. It's a white circle. That's about it. It's not too hard. Um, this is the second layer we're moving on to. Once you finish the first circle, you want to make a second circle inside of it. And once you're done making that second circle, <coughs> you mess the layer styles again. This one will be bevel and emboss again. Chisel hard 755%, size 87, soften 0. Once you have that, go ahead and click on the next layer. You might want to pause this video in between all these layers because I've I'm going pretty fast since it's like a a good amount of layers you have to do. So um, moving on to layer number oh that's layer one. Where's layer two? Oh, we'll just add the layer four then. Um, layer four is basically a colored circle. Let me get rid of these real quick. It's just a colored circle you're adding in between these two circles. So you want an outside circle an inside circle and another colored inside circle without any um, depth to it right now. Once you're done with that, all you're going to do is mess with the um, layer styles again. Uh, you're going to go to bevel and emboss and I'm going to activate these just to show you real quick. You want to go to bevel and emboss, depth 100, size 16, soften 0. Chisel hard, rest is the same. You want to go to drop shadow, opacity 72, uh, angle 0, inner shadow 72, and the rest is basically the same. Distance is 5 and size is 5. Color overlay. You can change this to whatever color um, best suits you. Uh, mine is um, turquoise cyan color. Um, after you get your color, it should look like this, but any color you choose. And gradient overlay is you choose the second option. It goes from base color to transparent, <coughs> and that's what you should get. Angle is 90, and styles linear, align with layer, opacity is 100%, scale 100, of course. After you're done with that, click OK, and your button should look like this. Uh, moving on. What is this? That's an empty layer. Okay, um, layer five. Layer five is basically the reflection on your button. You can see it right here. I did it old, old school, like a really easy way. If you don't want to get into like a really detailed way, an easy way is to just make a white circle that fits inside of this big circle. Whoops! Like a shift. Hold down shift, click, and you should get a perfect circle. Let go of your left mouse button and you sh yeah, you should get a perfect circle. All you want to do is place that perfectly inside your base circle and then um, click the paint bucket tool. Choose white or in between white and gray. Click OK. Make sure you make a new layer put white on top of it 
then you want to go to soft light and then <coughs> you drag the um, elliptical marquee tool down just a little bit to where you see that little crescent and you click delete on your keypad and there you go you got yourself a reflection um, make sure you change the opacity down to about 80 so it's not that strong of a reflection since I already have a reflection I'm just going to delete this layer and activate my reflection okay so once you have your reflection your buttons looking pretty good so uh, moving on to the last layer which is basically the um, base picture in the button um, this is my personal style in layer styles uh, I'll show you what I have it looks really good with any button type any color anything like that it has a perfect depth it has perfect shadowing it looks like it's embedded into the button so I'm gonna give you all the properties drop shadow opacity 100% angle 0 distance 5 size 5 and once you have that move on to inner shadow 0 angle opacity 75 distance 5 size 5 bevel and emboss depth 246 directions up softens to sizes 5 the rest is normal and that's pretty much it you should get a pretty good looking button and if you want to add that to um, the album section that I showed you earlier all you do is go to new wait for that to pop up 40 by 40 pixels enter and a little tiny space should pop up <coughs> all you do is click the top layer go all the way down click shift then left click the bottom layer merge layers or you could just merge visible that would work too um, go to untitled and it will pop in there you go to edit free transform and then drag it to the corners of this little tiny space and it should automatically set in there so you shouldn't have a problem moving it in click check and you should have a perfect little button all you do is file save for web and devices transparency interlace png24 save save it as whatever you want and then whenever you're done go to youtube edit cover art um, choose your file that you saved it has to be 40 by 40 or else it's going to be really tiny this is the um, best settings for the cover art go to the file you saved whoops a little high okay Facebook and it should pop up perfect size and everything uh, I hope this was helpful to you guys and um, let me know if you liked it make sure to suge suggest some new tutorials I'm running out of ideas and I really would like your input make sure to like the video favorite it leave a comment please leave a comment that would mean the world to me it makes me know that uh, it lets me know that you guys acknowledge what I'm doing for you and um, giving you all the tips I can get you I'm um, trying to make you better designers. So um, thanks, guys. Peace out.